Hey everybody, so if you've been watching my channel recently, I've been uh, cleaning up some consoles and uh, one of the last videos that I did was uh, cleaning and restoring a uh, Sega Dreamcast. And one thing that's cool about the Dreamcast is that um, you can actually burn video games for it and it's actually relatively easy. So I'm going to show you how to do this with uh, Image Burn. And one of the things you're going to want to do first is actually like get a, um, <clears throat> you're going to want to get a, uh, Dreamcast CDI game and uh, I usually just go to the ISO zone. That's where uh, I get most of my games and um, and so I'm going to provide a link for all the things you're going to need and um, you're going to need uh, this file right here update image burn and this comes with uh, the CDI files for image burn that you're going to need to install to your uh, directory and it also comes with um, just image burn itself. So you're going to want to take the CDI files out of there and you're going to want to extract, extract these to a folder. So just extract them right here. And then you're going to want to take these three files and you're going to want to go to your uh, operating system drive, which is my C drive. It's usually everybody's C drive. And you're going to want to go to program files. Um, if you have a 64-bit computer, it's going to be in the x86. If you have 32-bit, it's going to be in program files right here. And I already have Image Burn installed, so just go to Image Burn, and you're gonna want to put those three files into this directory right here. All right, so now that we have that done with, we're gonna to go to Image Burn. It's right there. Just let it open up. All right, and then you're gonna searching for the uh, the disk drives and whatnot, but you're gonna to want to write image to file or to disk. And then you're going to want to choose your image. And I have mine uh, located on the, dis the desktop. So I have it in a Dreamcast. And we're going to be burning Shenmue. All right, so just pick that. And then um, you're going to want to burn at the lowest file, or the lowest uh, burn speed right here. But I usually do it mine at uh, 16x. So I already have a blank disk in there and we're just going to burn it and I'll show you the end result. All right. So while that's burning, I'm going to show you guys the link that I provided for the links. So this is, um, this is right here, the update folder. And you're just going to want to just download right here and it's going to take you to a page like this. And then you're just going to want to download the file and it's going to go to your downloads and then you could just extract everything from there. All right, so like another thing that I want to show you guys is that um, a lot of people use daemon tools in order to see if the uh, CDI files are corrupted or not, because most of the time you'll get like incomplete downloads or what, or sometimes they just like don't uh, completely work. So we're just gonna go to our Shenmue folder. Here it's in dog desktop. Here, let me stop. All right, so we're in our Shenmue folder, and then I'm just going to check and see if disk two actually works, and we'll just see. So click open, and it's mounting the image, and then if it works, it should automatically play something like this. So yeah, it plays. Uh, something and that means it actually works all right so it uh, finished uh, burning and uh, just one thing I wanted to let you guys know is that um Dreamcast only reads CDs so you're gonna have to use a standard uh, CDR uh, 700 megabyte one and uh, most of the Dreamcast games actually will fit on there unless otherwise stated they'll be like split into like multiple discs like um, Shenmue is right here but um, but yeah, so now that we have that done, we're going to pop over to the Dreamcast and see if it actually works. All right, so I got Shenmue in the uh, Dreamcast. Now let's close it up and turn it on. Now let's see if it works. All right, so it's loading up, which looks good.
disk is loading. Alright, complaining about no memory card, but we can skip that. Alright, and there's Shenmue. Let's see if it starts. Alright, and everything looks good. Alright, so thanks everybody for watching, and uh, here's a bonus kitty. Thanks everybody, see you guys next time.